2013, I bought 100 Bitcoins and traded them in high school. They were worth about $70 a coin when I first started buying them. I went to college, but I realized that cryptocurrency mining could be a full-time job when I made $50,000 in one evening. I'm now the founder and CEO of a cryptocurrency mining company. In 2016, I purchased one acre of land next to a wind farm in Iowa and spent a million dollars on the data center. Welcome to the mining container. Each one of these is a Bitcoin miner and they're running 24 seven mining cryptocurrencies. Each machine makes close to $30 to $35 a day. I now have over 1,500 computers that compute long math equations 24 seven and then get rewarded Bitcoin. My company makes around 1.3 million in revenue per month. I believe crypto is leveling the playing field between the haves and the have-nots. It's a total rush to explore this decentralized financial ecosystem without having to ask permission. My generation doesn't want to ask for permission. We want financial freedom. For people who call crypto a scam, anything can be considered a scam. Some people think the US dollar is a scam. Does it mean they're right? No. The pros I see with cryptocurrency is you have the freedom to invest in anything you desire. It's a technology that's here to stay. I would encourage everyone to explore Bitcoin. If they can monetize and support themselves from crypto, do it. These provide the power and that's it. That's all you need. Power, internet, and money making machines. Bitcoin mining is how new Bitcoins are created. Every single Bitcoin was created by using a certain amount of energy or by using energy through devices like this one here today, a Bitcoin miner. This makes money. This right here makes, makes money every day, every hour, and every minute it's running and plugged in using energy. Okay, it creates what? Well, it creates a lot of heat. So <laughs> you plug the energy into it, and it does math problems. Those math problems solve new Bitcoin blocks. It's like the big Bitcoin puzzle. And every time one of these computers solves a Bitcoin block, it's rewarded for Bitcoin. Right now, 6.25 Bitcoins are rewarded every 10 minutes. Every four years, there's an event called the Bitcoin halving, and that reduces the amount of new Bitcoins mined. So that's why we have 21 million Bitcoins in total. And so every four years, we'll continue to get less and less Bitcoins through the minting or mining process. Okay, if anybody here knows what the hell he's talking about, <laughs> stand on your head. Stand on your head, that's pretty hard. <laughs> okay, but you're saying it solves math problems. Solves math problems. Why? Why solve a math problem? Well, you got to create a fair, equal system where anyone can generate cryptocurrency. And if it's a nation state, if it's a company, if it's an individual, it's a level playing field. This is money for the people, by the people, backed by energy. Why does solving a math problem create a Bitcoin? What, how does that convert to money? What's the value of solving a math problem? Instead of us doing it by hand and us solving the math problems by hand, we created a system that and equaled the amount of energy you put into it is the amount of Bitcoins you're gonna get out of it. And so each one of these machines takes that electricity and turns it into Bitcoin by solving these math problems. And you, the reason why you wanna solve the math problems is to get that Bitcoin block. Now Bitcoin blocks is how we get the word blockchain. So a Bitcoin block and a blockchain is part of, a block is a part of the blockchain. So the blockchain is a set of blocks on top of each other. So every 10 minutes, a new Bitcoin block is made. And that happens from computers all over the world. So that new block in, in, in it is 6.25 Bitcoins. But if anyone sent money over the Bitcoin blockchain, it will be in that block. That's how new transactions are verified to ensure that no one is committing fraud or is spending Bitcoins that they don't have. OK, so um, thanks for coming. <laughs> I'm glad to be here. <laughs> Who created these math problems? These math problems were created in the Bitcoin code. And the person- Who created the Bitcoin code? Satoshi Nakamoto wrote the Bitcoin code and published it online for anyone to review. Who's he? Well, I wish I knew, but he's a really rich guy and he's anonymous. No one actually knows who Satoshi Nakamoto is. No one knows who made Bitcoin. And that's part of the benefit of the system. Do you have a story or a question for me? Click the link in the description and tell me what in the world is going on.